Hey everyone, welcome back to Intruder Security. In this video, we are going to see some amazing projects you must start doing as soon as you start learning Mern Stack. To do so, you can go to Google and say, Suggest me some projects for Mern Stack. Or navigate to YouTube and search for Mern Stack projects for beginners. You must have got this video. Guess what? The projects explained in this video are going to assist you from very beginning HTML and CSS to amazing full stack projects. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Before we start, there are some points you must remember. First, do this projects as soon as you start learning. The next thing is you should be consistent while doing this. Irrespective of how busy you are, you must contribute to your projects daily. To do so, you can even create a GitHub repository of your projects. Let me take a moment to introduce you to our sponsors of this video. WaveAuth, amazing passwordless service which makes use of WhatsApp to log in you seamlessly, helping your customers with an hassle-free passwordless login feature. Check out WaveAuth.tech to know more about this amazing service. Now let's explore our amazing projects. Let's start with basic HTML and CSS projects. The first project you can do is a simple function less contact us form, in which you can majorly focus on your design and imagination skills. You can just try to imagine a good layout of a contact us form and make it in HTML and CSS. Each and every project is available on my GitHub. You can access them through description box. The next project you can do is clone a website. During my journey, I cloned a website of Razor Blade Laptop. I loved the design of how it was made, so I cloned it with my creativity. You daily visit countless websites, choose one, clone it. This will enhance your understanding of CSS properties. Third is a normal functionless login panel. Though instead login panel, I made in portfolio website, but I don't recommend you to make one. As React gives you a lot of flexibility, I made this site again in React. So instead of wasting much time on HTML and CSS, I recommend you to make more React projects. Let's jump on the next part of this video, JavaScript projects. The more games you create in JavaScript, more logic you can build. The first one I build was a simple to-do list. It's a general categorized project and doesn't involve much functionality. It can just add some tasks and reset the tasks you made. The next project is Calculator. Though it's from general category, it enhances your logic at next level. This is the must-do project from JavaScript. And there is a little challenge in this project. Try to follow the BODMAS rule. Remember in JavaScript projects, do not focus on the design or the user interface part. Rather focus on the logic part. Again, a general category project. Not a simple clock, but clock with stopwatch. And a timer functionality. A timer. You can set time, and it will just pop up an error once the time is completed. Stopwatch. Just start the timer and stop it whenever you want. And the just a simple digital clock. The next project is Notes Keeper app. Another general category project. Here you can add notes of your choice, give them a title, and just save them. This notes are saved in your cookies, so it won't delete even if you refresh your website. You can also add a markdown option in this. The next is Snake and Ladders Game, obliviously in games category. A simple board, it's not responsive. As I majorly focused on the logic thing, click on start to start the game. Clicking the dice rotates the dice and gives random number. It's a two-player game and doesn't involve versus computer, so you can add that. The next is Virtual Keyboard general category, and a simple project. Simply type anything on virtual keyboard and it will reflect back here. As it's a simple project, do not waste much time. It should get completed in two to three days if you are giving one hour for projects. Another snake game. My friend hates snake, so I made snake games for him. When you click on start, a simple animation occurs which builds this game. It is also created with JavaScript. Now to control the snake, you can use your keyboard buttons or the arrows given on the screen. Next in JavaScript is a simple and general category project, QR code generator. Just add or edit text. It will create a QR code for you. 
Again, do not waste much time on this project. The another project is a website for and club called OWASP. This website was built by me and my friend for a hackathon, though there was very little amount of JavaScript present in this project. So without wasting much time, let's shift to my friend's JavaScript projects. First is quiz. A game categorized project which may take a lot of time. You can select the level or the topics you want as per your choice and it will ask you questions. You can even create a scoring option in this project. The number of questions you answer correctly, the number of points you get. The next project is Rock Paper Scissor Game. The game is against the computer. You can choose your opinion as you want and then the JavaScript randomly picks up one of three. The next game is Tic-Tac-Toe, one of my favorite games my friend has created. You can just select the rounds and get started. This game will again test your JavaScript logical skills. The next is from general category project is sign in form, which uses JavaScript to switch between login form and sign up form. It's simple and less complicated project. The next project is analog clock. Another great project I have ever seen in JavaScript while I was in my journey to learn was this, a perfect UI with proper functionality, which even include a dark mode. So we have discussed 14 projects in JavaScript, I guess. Now let's jump to React projects. Remember I have linked the GitHub repository in the description box. You can refer the code used in this projects. But do try to make this projects on your own or using some documentation if you need. The first project I made as soon as I knew about components is a simple weather app. It tracks your location, passes it to an API and fetches location and weather though the location API trial are exhausted, and that's the reason why it's showing and defined here. And I haven't used hooks like state and effect in this as I was not knowing about it at that time. All of this projects shows my journey of how I learned everything using projects. The next project in React is a simple and short travel diary. I made this project to get more familiar with the component architecture of React. Do not waste more time on this simple project. The next one is a book library. Another simple static website to get familiar with syntax and improve UI skills on React. The next project is my favorite one, Playify, a Spotify clone. It uses Spotify API to fetch and search songs. Though you can't play any song on this website as I hadn't integrated SDK of Spotify. Still, I am planning to make it a full stack project, adding SDK and making it fully functional. The next is a simple static multi-routes project which was built when I was working as a freelancer. Our task was to build a good looking site for a hospital, which has a primary color of orange and green. The next project is my portfolio, which I showed you earlier in HTML and CSS. I modified my site and made it in React. Now I can easily ask edit my skills projects and have more flexibility as compared to normal standard HTML and CSS. So instead of making your portfolio in HTML and CSS, I recommend you to make it in React. The next project is Expense Tracker with AppRite as a backend service. I made this project in an hackathon powered by AppRite and Hashnode. You can add or debit money as per your, your transaction and keep track of your expenses. Now let's see my friend's React projects. First is a simple news application which uses a free news API to fetch news and display. The next is an amazing notes keeper app. We have also seen a similar project in JavaScript, but this one is an advanced version of what we saw. You add delete notes, edit text as markdown, and has much more functionalities. Another awesome project again similar to previous one, to-do list, but with much more functionalities and is made in React, not wasting much time as we already saw such projects in JavaScript. The next project is Sudoku. This project is one of the hardest project you will make and it's still under developments or you won't get the whole code currently. Now let's jump to final part of this video, full stack Mern projects. The first project you can make is a fully functional chat app. To make it unique, I converted my chat app into a scribble chat app. You can just scribble on a canvas and send the scribble to other users registered on the platform. There's a search functionality to search users registered on the platform. I am still working on this app to integrate more functionalities. Another project in Mernstack is a functional movie ticket booking site. Ensure you have two platforms, one for admin and one for normal users. It should have a sign up and login functionality with ticket booking option. This will enhance your relational database skills. 
The last project we have is a simple full-stack blogging website, which allows users to create and delete new blogs. Though I haven't made blogging app yet, you can comment down below if you want me to make one video on each of these projects separately explaining the code one by one. I hope you like this video. If not, please do tell the reason in comment section or on our social platforms. That's all in this video. Do share the video and subscribe the channel if you want more content related to technology and cybersecurity. We also have a live session coming next month on cybersecurity roadmap, so stay tuned.